Hey everyone, it's Ken. <laughs> How you guys doing? It's Thursday. Happy Thursday to you guys. It's October the 2nd. Second day of my 31 days of Halloween. Now, not everything for this month project of mine is going to be scary and spooky and all that kind of good stuff. Even though I am, I am in a graveyard. I'm in the St. Luke's Cemetery. I'm going to give you guys a little history. Because when you think about ghost towns, okay, the images that pop in my head when I think of ghost towns are, you know, old abandoned saloons and a blacksmith shop with tumbleweeds rolling way out west. But there's a ghost town right here in our area, Central Florida area. Now, Winter Park is back that way, and that way is my house in Oviedo. So in between Winter Park and Oviedo is a little town called Slavia. It was founded by Slovakian immigrants in the 1900s. And what you're looking at right here, which is kind of cool, this is St. Luke's Church. Now, Bridget and I attend St. Luke, which is over there. St. Luke's is massive now. It's a huge sprawling complex with a giant church and, and, and all these communities and schools and whatnot. But it all started right here in this little ghost town called Slavia. This was built in 1912. And guess what? It's open. Let's go check it out. Don't worry. It is open. I'm not breaking and entering. It smells old in here. They got some pictures in the wall. Let's check it out. The first building, congregation in 1921. Okay. According to this, it was built in 1912. There it is. Another original picture. There's the 1924 congregation. So take, take a look around. Now if you drive up on, on a Loma here, heading into Oviedo, this is probably the more familiar, more iconic image you see of St. Luke's. And we're going to check that out in a second. So, uh, but all of this back here is all built up. This is where all the new part is. Bridget and I, we walk in the side door back here. Which now is, well, here it's bushes, but back in the day, it was bushes. Now it's a big, big building. So, that'll give you guys a little peek at the uh, church here. It's warm in here. Let's go back outside. All right, so, there is one more stop I want to take you guys to here in Slavia, which kind of fits with my my 31 days of Halloween, being in a ghost town and all, I drive by this place every single day. Actually, twice a day. Going to work and going back from work. But check out this gravesite over here. So, if I haven't already mentioned it, the, um, the town of Slavia was founded in the early 1900s, and this is one of the original founding families. Right here. I guess it'd be Stanko, Stanko? Not quite sure how that's pronounced. But uh, we're going to leave these guys in our church and go check out a little filling station that that guy right there used to own. It's about two minutes that way. Come on, let's go. Okay, so we just came from that direction back there. That's where St. Luke's is. The old St. Luke's and the new, newer St. Luke's in that cemetery. And I mentioned, if I haven't already, there isn't much left of Slavia remaining. A couple of abandoned buildings, that cemetery, and that chapel, and this place right here. If you've driven up and down Aloma, going from Winter Park to Vito, then you've probably seen this place before. It was a service station and a country store built in 1925 by the, the um, Stanko guy, Stanko. I showed you his grave marker back there. I think I said that already. Not quite sure. But it's pretty cool. You can see this was obviously the front of the store. And there's still a spot where the where the gas pumps were. I'm not planning on going around back. I'm not even gonna peek inside the windows. Is, uh, it's still owned by somebody. Somebody still owns this private property. And I don't want to go nosing around someplace where I shouldn't be. But I love the tin roof. A 
couple years ago, people were living in here, and they moved out. So it's it's back to being a vacant building, but I'm sure it looks nothing like it did back in 1925, when it was a store and a really cool service station. I can imagine the cars, I imagine the Loma probably wasn't that close. Guys, right, so we just pull right up here, fill up some gas, pick up some provisions for their trips. Again, yeah, built in 1925, so I imagine it was a hustling, bustling place. There are some pretty cool images you can find on the, on the internet. If I find any, I'll try and attach them onto this video tonight. If I can't, just do, do, do some research on the um, Stanko, S-T-A-N-K-O, S-T-A-N-K-O. Got that KO at the end. In Oviedo, Slavia. Like I said, not much left. I went down there, but that dead ends into a sod farm. Not very exciting. Not very Halloweenish either. I realized today's video wasn't very Halloweenish, but a ghost town. That's pretty cool. Thinking about people who used to live here, what they used to do, what they used to see and say and live. It's kind of intriguing. I mentioned that earlier in a video about documentary photography. I love the idea of looking at old pictures and thinking about people and what they did in their day-to-day -day lives. And uh, something like a service station, an old country store, just kind of a kind of a cool image pops in your head of people shopping and talking and all that kind of good stuff like we're doing right now. So thanks for tuning in. Excuse me, and thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for day three of the 31 days of Halloween. Tomorrow, it's going to be a sweet treat. Wait for it. All right, thanks again. See you guys later.